a wise teacher will ask pertinent questions in order to draw out good answers from the students. And Jesus is our divine teacher. So when he was with his disciples, he asked them point blank, who do people, who do the crowd say that I am? From what they heard in being with the crowd, with other people, some said, they say you are John the Baptist, that brave soul who confronted Herod and told him that he was scandalizing the people with his immoral life. John the Baptist, who told people to repent and be baptized in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Others say that he was Elijah, that great prophet who challenged the prophets of Baal in Mount Tabor and proved to them that there was only one true God and this is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Still others, they said, that Christ is one, this or that prophet. He figured in their minds as a prophet, just as our brothers and sisters of the Islamic faith will tell us that he's only a prophet. We too will be asked, what do you think of Christ? And immediately we'll go to what we have learned from our parents, from school, from listening to homilies on Sundays, from what we read in books or saw in movies. Yet this is not enough because Christ will come to us with that very important question asking about you personally, who do you say that I am? There's a difference between saying who Christ is from what they learned, obtained from others, and telling Christ who he is in our lives. How important Jesus is in our hearts and in our lives. This proved true in the experience of people who were invited to a big party and there were celebrities in that party. At the start of the celebration, the master of ceremonies invited a noted a very famous actor, good-looking and very articulate to say something in form of prayer. And to the surprise of everyone, the actor recited Psalm 23, saying, The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Even if I walk through the valley of darkness, I fear no evil for he is with me. At the end of his recitation of Psalm 23, the audience rose to a man and gave him a standing ovation. So masterful, so skillful, so artistic was his recitation of the Psalm, The Lord is my shepherd. And everybody settled down to eat and drink and laugh through the night. Towards the end of the party, the master of ceremonies again interrupted the guests and said, My dear friends, it's now time to close this party with a prayer. And to the surprise of everyone, he pointed to an old priest and invited that old priest to come 
to the podium, to the stage, and address the people with the closing prayer. And to the surprise again of everyone, the priest said as his closing prayer, the same Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, yet not gifted with that ability, that with that talent which this great actor had, who recited the Psalm 23 before him, his recitation paled in comparison. And when he sat down, people smiled and even joked about the performance of the priest. And some of the table mates of that great actor asked him, what do you think of the performance of that old priest? And humbly, the great actor said, I might know the prayer, the Lord is my shepherd, but that old priest over there knows who the good shepherd is in his life. My dear brothers and sisters, time and again we have heard about what Christ is. Movies sensationalizing his life like the Da Vinci Code or The Last Temptation. Movies which try to put down who Christ is really in our faith. Sometimes we doubt about the truth, the lessons we learn from our parents, from our teachers, about the person of Christ. There will come a time when we will be challenged about what we think who Christ really is in our lives. Let this be our prayer this evening that after listening to so many homilies, interacting with people, especially with the poor, with whom Christ identifies himself when he said, whatever you do to the least of my brothers, you do it for me. After listening to sacred scriptures, for Saint Jerome said, if we don't know the scriptures, we don't know Christ. Or he said, ignorance of scriptures is ignorance of Christ. And this evening, we have the special privilege, not only of listening to God's word, but of appreciating his real presence among us. We take his body, in the form of bread and when the time comes when it is already allowed we'll receive him in his blood in holy communion so that we will become more and more Christ-like and be able to say truly and sincerely from our hearts like Saint Peter confessing before all who Christ for him is when he said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen.